Okay, Black Adam. I'm kind of sick when making this video, so if my voice starts to die out throughout, uh, it's because I'm sick. So, Black Adam sure was a movie. I wanted to make a review on Black Adam since I have a decent amount of things to say about it. So, uh, here's the plot. Uh, Black Adam starts with these four goofballs going to a silly little cave to find a crown that's super powerful. Two stay in the car and two go in the cave. So they go inside the cave and there's some goofy text that says something about Black Adam, but they don't really care, they don't acknowledge it, so they just move on. So they find the crown, but for some reason, these random people show up and start shooting at them because they want the crown for themselves. But then we get this awful CGI and Black Adam shows up in this epic cape suit and he wrecks all the bad dudes and just like murders them. We get this decent action scene with Black Adam beating them all up and the one goofball, since one of them died during Black Adam's murder rampage and the goofball runs away into the car with the crown then after we see black adam beat everyone up and he goes to where the two remaining goofballs are and just kind of stands there the cool rocket gets shot at him he grabs it and it explodes which causes him to pass out so the two remaining goofballs grab it in the crown and run so then it turns out one of the goofballs that died actually lived it was the leader of the evil group of the dudes that were trying to take the crown we then see black adam waking up in the goofball's house and he's confused because he hasn't existed in the past 5,000 years so one of the goofballs has a kid and he talks about how their town was saved by him 5,000 years ago and he can save it again from something black adam's like no screw you kid and he just runs away so this is black adam doesn't really do anything good and just murders people the justice society pulls up a third dude future guy smart girl and owl and they want to put black adam in a prison because he's dangerous so we get this really long fight scene where the justice society attacks black adam and he fights back and beats them all up black adam and the kid do some bonding after that then the evil goofball from before shows up and kidnaps the son and steals the crown. Black Adam and the goofballs have to get the son back so they interrogate some of the gang and they find out where the kid is. Black Adam kills the goofball but uh oh the Justice Society still wants to put Black Adam in prison because they still think he's a threat. And so far he hasn't even really done anything good he just killed a ton of people so it's kind of understandable. Future seeing dude tells bird dude that he sees the world on fire the only reality where it's not on fire is if bird dude sacrifices himself but he doesn't see far enough and bird dude thinks the only way to stop the future is to send black adam to prison so bird dude and black adam talk about it and black adam reveals that he wasn't actually the one who was given his powers by god it was his son who was the original black adam so he's not even a champion or a good guy he was just a killing machine so he turns himself into prison by saying the word shazam and getting rid of his powers Turns out the evil goofball planned on Black Adam killing him and the evil people turn him to their new champion making him this giant devil thing. So the Justice Society has to help and Bird Dude realizes he has to die for the greater good of the world. But then Future Seeing Dude says he didn't tell him everything and instead sacrifices himself sending a message to Black Adam that he is worthy and he must help them defeat evil goofball. So after Future Seeing Dude dies holding off evil goofball, Black Adam shows up and with the Bird Dude he destroys the evil goofball making him the new ruler of the kingdom. But then he doesn't like it, so he just leaves. Then we get a post credit scene with Superman or something, and, and then it ends. So, Black Adam is an extremely flawed movie that I had a decent time watching. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about was how at the start there was narration explaining Black Adam's backstory, but the narration was really bad and it was never even used again. CGI also looks really bad, and probably the worst thing about the movie is the dialogue, because it feels more robotic than actual humans. The villain is okay, but he's really boring and has no motivation other than just wanting power. There are a bunch of nitpicks I have, like how the gang has bad dialogue and the fact that this thing takes place in a day and we still see the Tom Folk by the end, even though there was like three massive battles taking place. There's some issues I have with the dialogue when the goofballs tell Black Adam that he saved her when they're in the car, which isn't true. He just didn't kill them, so I guess he didn't, he didn't really save them though. The smart girl and Al almost do nothing in the plot and the ending doesn't make me feel anything. And the ending doesn't make me feel emotional in the slightest because Bird Dude and Future seeing guy are treated like antagonists throughout most of the movie so i don't so i don't exactly root for them slow-mos are overused and the kids actor really started to stink towards the end i have no idea what happened to the actor but it just started getting really bad wow that was a lot of nitpicks anyway black adam is still pretty decent it had some good moments like him and the kids relationship 
That was nice, but they barely touched on it. The whole bit where the kid tells Black Adam to use a catchphrase was also neat since it came together by the end with him saying it before killing the evil goofball. Moments like that were really neat in a movie that was mainly mediocre. I think The Rock did a good job as Black Adam, and Al was the only character in the Justice Society that I thought was actually pretty good and interesting. I don't watch many DC movies, so I'm not sure if I was supposed to know anything when watching this, but I appreciate how they explained a lot of backstory and things about the character. The movie doesn't tell a lot of jokes, which is good because the ones they tell are usually really bad So if this was filled with jokes like a Marvel product, it would probably get really annoying really fast The fight scenes are fine except for all the slow-mo parts, but there's nothing really to write home about I do really like how Black Adam just kills people without any care like in the interrogation part The twist that his son gave him power was something I didn't expect and there's no twist villain, which is great Black Adam is a 5 out of 10 so overall, this is a very scattershot video. I just kind of spilled out everything I thought about the movie. So if you want me to do more of these kinds of videos, which will, they're easier to make, so they'll come out faster, tell me in the comments or write your own opinion in the comments below. Uh, this is an epic outro. There's no one on this planet that can stop me.